Back here at home, a special session of the Utah Legislature is over on Capitol Hill. Lawmakers got a lot done. Political specialist Lad Egan is there live as he's been all afternoon. Lad? Yeah, it was a very quick session of the legislature today. The lawmakers seemingly arriving ready to vote on just a handful of bills on the agenda. And, you know, Governor Gary Herbert just called this session back on Monday. And today when lawmakers got here, they got everything done in under three hours voting on a total of nine bills. Eight of those sailed through without hardly any opposition. The loan item that did not advance a controversial bill about grandparents visitation rights it failed in the house and wasn't heard by the senate but what was approved lawmakers enhanced penalties for people who fly unmanned aircrafts over restricted airspaces and that includes wildfires the new penalties at a maximum punishment of 15 years and fifteen thousand dollars in a fine if a drone causes a crash also authorities have permission to disable or damage those drones already this year Firefighters have had to ground planes and helicopters several times because of interference from drones. Also approved funding for a new $17 million arena at the fairgrounds. Lawmakers kicked in $10 million. The rest will be from local governments and private funding, including a $3 million donation pledged by the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. The new 10,000-seat stadium will give the Days of 47 Rodeo a permanent home. And this one's interesting. Utah's in a battle with New Mexico to see which state can attract Facebook to build a new data center. Lawmakers today approved tax exemptions to attract the social media giant, but we'll have to see what deal New Mexico offers in return to Facebook there. So already the uh, House and the Senate uh, has already uh, adjourned for this special legislative session and uh, everyone acting very positive about what was accomplished today, especially that new arena at the fairgrounds. You know, Dave, the future of the fairgrounds been in jeopardy for about two decades now. Many of those on the west end of Salt Lake City think that this arena will breathe some new economic life into that area. Lad Egan live for us on a busy afternoon at the state capitol. Thank you, Lad. Ashley.